Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. If you're new, I am Whiska and if not, uh, so this video will be about wig installation on this beautiful blue crochet wig that I made. I call her Colorful Life. So I've been getting a lot, a lot of attention on social media on this blue wig. And of course, the most asked question was, wig installation so of course i had to make a video to show you lovely ladies how i install this fly slate wig if you are interested in purchasing on this cute crochet wig i will post the website down below where i got the wig from so let's get started before i put on the wig on my head i always put it on my styrofoam head and untwist the hair that's like the first first thing i ever do you could also untwist it on your hair but i always always untwist my hair on my styrofoam head because sometimes it could get big and crazy and when i unravel the twist i unravel by going opposite direction of the twist and then i put my finger in between the two strings and then pull the strings apart slightly when i do that i start at the bottom of the twist then i start unraveling all the way to the top and then once i hit to the top i move on to the next twist i'm gonna let you guys watch me unravel this wig and getting it ready for the wig install So for this wig installment, I will need lace glue, pins, lastly a stocking socks. This is for to hold the hair up. I never use scrunchie when I work with my crochet wigs because it's so much hair. So I usually use socks. Funny, right? <laughs> but I usually use like a, a unused socks and then wrap it. Usually my socks are black, so it. It, it looks it looks good all righty let's get started so when i put on my crochet wigs i always put it right behind my hairlines i never put it on my hairlines because we want healthy edges at the end of the day that's our goal is to keep our edges healthy so i put it right behind my hairlines then i start fluffing on the baby hairs because we do want that natural look so i fluff the baby hairs the front baby hairs just fluffing fluffing and fluffing once i finish that i'm going to put my hair in the pony cell so i can really really work on my baby hairs <laughs> So now I'm just pinning the hair closer to the baby hairs. So I'm kind of basically moving the hair just a little forward. Now I am fluffing the baby hairs on the side and at the back. Those section is extremely important just like the front. It's equally as important just like the front. So always making sure the side and the back is popped in. And, and I'm just doing the same thing like I did in the front baby hairs. I'm just fluffing, fluffing, fluffing. And remember, I cannot see the back of my head. So I'm really just going by feels.
Now I am putting the hair glue on and I am putting it right in front of my hairline. It's not on top of it, just a little bit in front of the hairline. And one big helpful tip I could tell you is to follow the pattern of your real hairline. That will make the look extremely natural. And with the pin, I'm just moving it out, making sure that the glue is clear and ready. Also, another big tip is I work in sections. So I won't work the whole hairline. So I might work like the side of my baby hair or the front section of my baby hair. It really depends how I feel, but I work in sections. I never do the whole baby I never do the whole hair lines all at once. Once that done, I just fluff the edges again and then I place it right on the lace glue. Finessing the baby hairs, you have to take your time and be patient. With this whole hairstyle, you have to take your time and be patient so you can really execute the hairstyle, okay? But honestly, guys, you know, just take it easy and, and, and take it slow you don't want to be in a rush when you doing this And again, I am working in sections and just doing slaying my baby hairs. <laughs> so again, I am fluffing the baby hairs and then laying it right on top of the lace glue. So here I am just pinning the excess hair up, the hairs that are sticking out, I'm just pinning it up. And this is how it looks. I'm just showing you guys how it's looking. Ow. <laughs> so now I'm just doing my ponytail. And I'm just really determined how high I want to put it or how low I want to put it. It really depends how I feel. And guys, I didn't even notice my mannequin head until I started editing. Like, how creepy is that? <laughs> So out of nowhere, guys, I decided to add two bangs, and I do not regret that decision. <laughs> I was like, yes, honey. And guys, like, one of my goals for Flash Lay Wig is to be created through Marley hair. So it's just amazing that you could do all this look without manipulating your real hair. Like, low to no manipulations. And plus, the benefit is that, like, my fly slay wigs it mimics natural hair so it look like it's growing out of your hair which is a benefit of a protective hairstyle like you always want it to look like your real hair while your real real hair is being protected underneath so
So my ponytail was looking way too defined. So I just fluffed the twists out. So I fluff, 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 but I didn't fluff the ends because we do want the ends to still be curly. So I fluffed the twists out from the beginning until I get closer to the ends where the curls is at and then I stop. And I'm fluffing the twist out. I'm not separating the twist out. I'm just fluffing it. And that's it, and that's all, guys. <laughs> and I was just feeling myself. Like, I never did blue hair before. So, I was just like, yes. And plop, it, it mimics my real hair. So, I'm like, yes, natural crochet week. <laughs> but, yes, guys, please, please, please don't forget to follow us on TikTok. I'm going to post a picture there. Also, the link down in the description box and also our instagram so thank you again for watching guys ciao